I'm Jonathan. And I'm Paulina. And I'm Alexander. And I'm the youngest in the world. We just wanted to introduce ourselves. We are the leaders of breakfastinabed.com and we're looking forward to having you on the side. And we're owners of Shiloh Chanel Bed and Breakfast in Tennessee. Our names are Paul and Kareen. We own the country house at Hunchy Bed and Breakfast in Queensland, Australia. Hi, my name is Scott Rao, and my wife Tony and I are the owners and innkeepers here at the Folkestone Inn in Bryson City, North Carolina. Hello, I'm Mariela, the owner of the Finnerne Deux Amants, and now I'm the owner of Mark Donaldson, and I own the Darby Field Inn in the United States. Hi, my name is Nicole Maurer the owner of Patty's Place Bed and Breakfast, located in Paris, Louisiana. Hey guys, Maddie Italia here, Casa di Papuch in Italy. Did I just hear that right? All of these contributors to this video are all privately owned, privately run bed and breakfast. They're not owned by a big corporation. They're not owned by a large company. They're owned by private individual entrepreneurs that wanted to just provide a service to the community and a service to people all because they enjoy that conversation now i do feel as a bed and breakfast owner and innkeeper there are little niches little things in the community that you know about more so than a big corporation yes you can have a whole office full of people who can research what the area is like but only unless you have had the experiences yourself will you be able to give a good, authentic, positive experience to your guests? Now, I'm not saying you can't have conversations everywhere, but I do feel like having a conversation in a bed and breakfast is just different. And every bed and breakfast has its own story. And the story that comes along with a bed and breakfast, whether it's a Civil War era home, an antebellum, era home, a prohibition era home, the innkeepers of that bed and breakfast who have put so much time and energy and effort into providing an authentic experience, they can tell you that story only they know how to tell. With the passion, with the experience, with the vigor that only they can provide. So think next time you want to go travel, consider staying in a B&B. You get to sit and have breakfast with the owners and the innkeepers. You get to hear their stories. They get to hear yours. You get to make new friends and enjoy the conversation. And remember, always book direct. 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 Okay, what would you like to say? And don't forget to do my breakfast and bread. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. No, 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 kiss the screen. <laughs> <laughs>